that your spouse like your whole life, but you should never do anything like this. You should never let it get to that point. But I let it get to a point where I never, I mean, I've never been angry before. Like, this is like the epitome of being angry. Yeah. The epitome of like showing a rage, the epitome of like losing, losing your mind. And it was, and no, no, nothing about that comes. I just wish I could take all of that. When did it turn? As far as that conversation? Just at the end when I was telling her, like, I, I, I told her I didn't love her anymore. That's what happened. What happened? She told me to get off her and I felt like I don't even want to say it felt like I had to. It just felt like there was already something in my mind that was planted that I was going to do it. And then I woke up that morning and it was going to happen and I had no control of it. You never thought about it before? It was just like, I don't want, like, when, like, like, just, like, in the sentencing hearing that the prosecutor said it takes two to four minutes for something like that to happen. Like, why, why can't I just let go? I didn't. I don't like to okay, I just let was go. Was it feeling like it was in motion and you just couldn't stop it? Yeah, it was just like, I don't even want to know what, what she saw when she looked back at me, honestly. Did you look at her? How was she doing? Fighting. Why do you think she wasn't fighting? Well, I was, I, maybe she was praying. Maybe she was just. I read, read the Bible and said, you know, like, you know, uh, the scripture that says, don't uh, uh, forgive these people for they do not know what they do. Um, maybe. Chris literally thinks that she's praying. For God to forgive him because he doesn't know what he does while he's strangling her to death. What a conceited dumbass. She was saying that I don't know what she was saying in her head. But she, you know, like, like when you guys told me to take off your shirt and stuff, check for defensive wounds, and like, you know, there wasn't going to be any. She didn't fight. I don't know why. Did she grab, could she grab your arms I, or were your arms pinned down? Or? I, don't, I, I don't remember. I don't think so. I mean, I, I don't think, like, I moved to where my knees were around her arms or anything, but it was just kind of like when I got on top of her and we, we started talking, it was, that was it. It's kind of like in my head, or like in the back of my head, that was going to happen, and just like at the end of the conversation, it was just like, that's what happened. It's just intimate, because you're right in there. Yeah. You're using your own hands. It's a lot different than someone standing across the room and you shooting them or something like that, so. It just, it just felt like somebody was, like, behind me. Just, like, just, I just couldn't let go. I still wasn't in that right state of mind. I don't think, like, like I was in control of what I could think or what I could do at that point in time. Then, back to the house. Take her back to her room. Put Shannon in that sheet. And she's not sight. Okay. Then what? She carried her downstairs. Back my truck up. At that point, were the girls still there? Okay. So then Shannon's in the truck. Then. Back to the house. Got her bike in the truck. Was Bella first or was Cece first? In the truck. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. So she was first. And then Bella was next. Was Bella alive when you put her, when you guys got in the truck? Oh, okay. What happened? I woke back up. Okay. I don't really want to talk about this party, honestly. Okay. Yes, I mean, that's the only thing you do. I mean, I don't have, like, I don't have a gun. I don't have anything like that. It's not like you can just commit suicide that way. But so just like, to blow yourself up? I mean, it was just, I wasn't thinking. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I, it was, I mean, I don't have, I don't have weapons. I don't have, I've never hunted before in my life. I don't know what, I mean, nothing was right that morning. Yeah. I remember you kept telling me that. You kept saying, I didn't know what I was doing, Tammy. I didn't know. Like, yeah, when you asked me about the sheet, like, what were you doing? Like, I don't know what I was doing. Yeah. 
think you were just like in automatic mode or it seemed like. So was she alive when she went into the oil tank? No. I put the blanket over it. And that's how she passed. Put the blanket over her. I didn't want to. No. I sprinkled her right there in the back seat. Okay. What was Bella doing? She was sitting right beside her. Did she understand that she knew what was going on? She didn't say anything. And then the same for Bella. Like me, a one-month-old son. And a beautiful wife. And just like right now, it's just me. Yeah. 